Okay, here we are at the business end of your Eagle 300 or Eagle 600 Jetter. And let's show you the controls here. This is a DWR model, which is the most common type of, we make today of the Eagle 300 or Eagle 600 series. DWR means it's a deluxe unit with the wireless remote control. On DWR models, you'll come standard with a beacon light. It's an option to the standard models. You can see right here on the panel, I've got a switch to turn the light on. You don't have, to, don't have to have the engine on or anything. It's live all the time. You can drive down the road with the beacon on if you want. <clears throat> we can turn that on. Right next to it, we have an auxiliary switch. And just to show you, right here, we've got a 12-volt outlet where you can plug in your tablet or cell phone or something to that effect. Uh, you know, if you've got a, uh, a spotlight, multi-candle power light, you want to plug in, anything like that. So you can see here as I swiveled the reel, DWR models in the Eagle 300 and Eagle 600 size have the pivoting reel. Now if you have the standard unit, your reel is not going to do that. It's just going to be locked in place. But this is a multi-position, um, 180 degree swiveling reel. So we just got to move this lever out of the way and we can pick different positions to lock it into all the way around, both directions. Then you just aim it whichever direction you want for optimum jetting whether you're going curbside or this way or that way or down into a manhole. Okay, next, let's talk about the controls here as I'll walk you down the control panel, which obviously swivels with the hose rail. Starting on top, we have two different engine starts because this is a two engine, two pump system. Uh, this particular model is a 20 gallon per minute model, which is most common of the Eagle 300, Eagle 600 size and each engine is responsible for 10 gallons a minute. 10 gallons a minute from this pump engine plus 10 gallons a minute from this pump engine gives you the 20 gallon per minute capability. But you can run them separately, especially if you're going to use a pressure wash gun or a mini jetting hose, you would just run one of these. But when you're running off the main jet hose that comes on the trailer, you're going to be running both of them. They're fuel injected, so you just push the button to start. You turn this to panel control. You can see it light up. And then we can start our engines and be off and running. Now, if you're going to run a remote control, you turn the switch over here to the remote position, and then you'll be active to run wireless remote control. We'll come back to that. But walking down the panel, each engine has an hour meter and allows you to kind of match the hours of each one, especially if you use single engine operation for small hoses commonly. Uh, you can kind of watch those hours and also for oil changes. Um, here's your throttle control. Even though there's two engines, there is just one throttle control. So you don't have to balance anything if you're running two engines. As soon as they're started, you got a single engine throttle to bring your engine speed, your, which basically means your GPM up and down, which makes your pressure go up and down. And then here you've got your water on, which means jetting on and jetting off. Very simple. Now these are duplicated on your wireless remote. We have engine on for engine one, engine on for engine two, and then there's the start button. So I would turn to remote control and you can hear it light up. I can start the engine. I can start the second engine, kill, kill. And then I have a throttle here, the tortoise in the hair for higher throttle, lower throttle, and pressure on and off. We put that right up top, it's kind of right where your thumb wants to be to go jetting on. You might hear the automated valve there moving, jetting off. Pretty simple. And then right here we have a control for hose wind. So let's go down the panel here. This button replaces this button on your hose reel control. So right down here we have a wind or unwind position for the hose. There's also a neutral where if I push the button it just does nothing. But most common thing is to wind up the hose. We have an adjustable variable speed for the wind up. So now we can push the button and wind it up at whatever speed we've got it set for. Or if we want to pull a whole bunch of hose and go around a building, very common, and we don't want to be pulling hard on this hose rail, we can push unwind, grab
grab our wireless remote control and start walking away from the machine and getting an assist from that power reel. Now this won't rewind though unless we have it in wind up position. So now I can rewind and it's going to wind at whatever speed this variable speed is set to. So that's the remote and the manual wind up for the hose reel. Back into the panel, there's obviously your pressure gauge. See it says here, do not exceed 4,000 PSI. <clears throat> if you have a 3,000 PSI mantle, it'll say do not exceed 3,000 PSI. Now the jetter is capable of exceeding it because we don't push it to its absolute limit, but we recommend do not do that. That will wear out your engines quicker, wear out your pump quicker, can expose hoses to bursting. Stick to the maximum pressure period, okay? And down here, we have a pressure regulating valve um, generally when we're running off the main hose, I use throttle up and down to just raise and lower pressure. But this will also make sure it sets the maximum. So if you're, say, jetting an old Orangeburg pipe or something, you don't want to go over 2,500 PSI, you can set this to maximum 2,500. So no matter what you throttle it to, it won't go there. Okay. Um, this is also important for when you're using mini hoses. I recommend that you back this off about three uh, full turns. When you're using a mini hose, like a quarter inch hose or a little trap jetting hose, you need to bring this down a little bit so the extra pressure that's built up in that little teeny hose uh, doesn't jack us up over 4,000 psi. Okay, so um, this is again to make sure you don't get any higher than you want to be. Do not exceed maximum pressure ever. And the last thing we haven't talked about here on the panel is the pulse control. Um, we have an adjustable pulsation which as you crack this open, it'll create more and more hose pulsation. For those of you who aren't familiar, pulsation just basically makes the hose shake. So when the hose is inside a pipe and it's dragging along the pipe, um, creating a little bit of a bounce can break the tension of that hose on the pipe and help it get around corners and get further up the line. You generally don't want to jet all the time with the pulse on for two reasons. Number one, it cuts down your pressure. You're diverting water flow and GPM. You're lowering your GPM and your pressure. You'll see your pressure go down when you open this up, but it is not, it is not, it is not the pressure regulator, okay? You wanna generally keep this closed and off. It's just to get you your hose further up the line, or if your nozzle is stuck, it's wonderful to go a little bit forward, open that pulse wide open, throttle down a little bit, and bounce that nozzle off and it'll pop right off of whatever's holding it up. Thank you.